Hey guys, it's Felicia and Vincent, and I am coming to you live from um, the Virginia Cancer Institute, and I am here with my husband today. Uh, we are here. I'm doing this live. I'm going to wait for a few people to come on. I want to talk to you guys. Yeah. Hey, Naomi. How are you? Just waiting to see who comes, if um, folks will come on before I get too far in. Try not to talk too loud. Right? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Okay. A thankful uh, Thursday. Shame on me. Let me do that. Or we can up your dose or figure out another medication. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm coming on because I want to share with you guys um, something that uh, we haven't had the chance to share or didn't have the release to share. So. Um, my husband um, wants us to share this. So on February 14th, my husband went in for surgery um, to have his tonsils out. And uh, on February 19th, we found out that he has non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, and we just found out on Monday that it is in his neck, in the lymph nodes in his neck. Hey, Sylvia. Hi, darling. How are you? Thanks for coming on. And so um, today I'm coming on because this is his first chemo treatment. And um, I had not vlogged. You guys know I do vlog. I do our family vlogs. But um, I had not been able to share this. We only shared it with family and um, the closest of friends. But today he said that he wanted to start documenting his journey. And so he asked me to go ahead and, and vlog this. So that's why I'm coming on. We know that many of you have um, been following us for a long time. You have followed our journey. And you love us and you praying for us and standing with us and uh, but he said if what I'm going through can help anybody I want to be able to be a blessing and to share it because everything that we go through you know it's not just for us it's for someone else so that is um, why I'm coming on today and also we um, I want to say thank you to those of you that um, are aware and uh, family and friends that have been praying, standing with us and lifting us up and reaching out. We thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate it. So I'm going to see if I can turn the camera around um, to him. Okay. Alright, so hey babe. You got me. I got you. Hey, Say hi to the family. Hey, family. Uh, being someone that has never really been sick or ever even had surgery, uh, it's been kind of different for me. Um, for the last six weeks, I've been feeling pretty much like a science project. But, uh, you know, God is good. Um, and my choice in this situation right now is the choice of fight. Um, I got my boxing gloves on. Uh, this is round one of the eight round championship of the world. And I plan to be victorious at the end of this match. Um, and that's just the bottom line. Um, the doctor says that I have a good 90% success rate. How you doing? Um, and the nurse that I was working with today, she <coughs> emphasized um, her key word was positivity. And that's just the type of person that I've always been. Um, I always see the glasses half full. 
And so um, that's where I tend to, to be. So my nurse is walking over right now, Miss Johnson, and she wants to, uh, I guess, check my blood pressure pr again. So um, um, I just wanted to, uh, to share this because I believe in full transparency, especially with something like this. It's no longer about me or what I'm feeling. Um, one of our good friend's uh, wife, uh, she just came out of a situation and she documented her journey. And although I didn't respond to a lot of it, um, I was encouraged by her journey, which she went through. And um, she probably, if she listens to this, she'll know who she is. Um, but hey, I want to document this so um, that the next person might be able to see and, uh, and, and be encouraged by it. And, uh, and just know this, okay, that, so you know, with God, all things are possible. And I choose to keep my head high, but I also choose to keep Jesus high. So, guys, you be blessed. And um, my wife is in control of a lot of this. Uh, she, uh, she, as far as the blogging is concerned. So, um, I'll let her, you know, document this journey for me. There may be times that I might not feel like doing it, but um, I'm going to continue to push um, until I don't know what else to do. So you guys be blessed, and uh, and hopefully I'm out of here around 5 o'clock. Uh, the sessions are long, um, all day sessions, but um, they're every 21 days. So um, in the meantime and in between time, I, I plan to continue to do what I've been doing. Um, unless I'm dictated to do otherwise. Um, I'm just not one that likes to sit around. Um, I'm always someone that's going to go. So anyway, turning it back over to my wife. And uh, I'm looking to get me some food here. Because uh, guess what? One of the things I will continue to do is to, to get my eat on. Amen? So anyway, you guys be blessed. And we'll talk again soon. Thank you. All right, guys, so you heard it right here from the horse's mouth. And all we want to try to be as transparent as we can. And so we want to bring you guys along on this journey. We um, appreciate your love and prayers and your support. And I will keep you posted um, as much as I can. Um, but we want to send love and hugs to all of you. And so continue to... Um, you know, lift us up, and uh, we're going to keep blessing God and thanking God and praising God just for who he is because he's just that kind of God, and he's so faithful. So we call him healed. We call him restored. We call him revived, renewed, and completely whole in Jesus' name. So love you guys. Talk to you soon.